Hey y'all, uh, it's Krista here, your Cincy uh, Independent Consultant. My dog looked up when I started talking like, ooh, me? <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you. Um, got a little seasonal cold here, so I apologize for the, you know, sniffing or whatever. I'm going to do a lot of sniffing. This is going to be, this is my first uh, what, what have I been warming video. I'm trying not to shake the uh, table. I've already organized all my bars on top of the table so that I don't have to be digging. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, I wanted to do this outside, but Mother Nature decided that my well was not full enough, so it's still raining. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to do wax first, and then I'm going to do my non-wax um, things. Just a little history or a little uh, idea of my space that I warm in. I, I live in an RV, um, having a house built, and so uh, the size of this RV is approximately 700 square feet. It's not huge, um, but it's big enough that that I have a little separation. Like I have one warmer in in my bedroom, which is about eight by eight. Um, I have one one warmer in there, and I usually warm something different in there that can coordinate with what I warm in the den uh, living area because it does commingle a little bit just because it is such a small space. I have two warmers, two warmers in my living area. Um, I like strong scents. I usually put two cubes in one of the warmers and one cube in the other warmer, um, so it's three cubes total. Now, as you can imagine, an RV is not an airtight space. Um, there are a lot of cracks, a lot of crevices, a lot of openings. And with the glorious weather that we've had in the um, 60s and 70s so far this winter, uh, I've had my door open a lot. So, you know, as you can imagine, the scent kind of, uh, you know, goes out the door since, since my warmers are right there by the door on the only flat surface that I have. Um, I might do a tour one day of how I use Scentsy in this small space because it is possible to use Scentsy in a small space like this and, and, and be able to enjoy scents to the fullest. And you'll see with my, um, what I've been using, how I use it in here. Most, mostly I do wax. Um, but there's cleaning products. You still got to clean, right? Um, cleaning products, lotions body washes, everything like that, and I personally just have not um, ordered those things yet. I will eventually. I'm still new to Scentsy, but anyway, so enough about that. I'm going to go on and move into my what I've been warming as far as wax and just a few other non-wax products. I've made notes, so I've got my notebook right here ready to look down, but I'm going to start with, um, this is just for basically the month of December. I don't go through a whole lot, so it wouldn't make sense to do it weekly. Um, right now, I'm just going to start monthly, and then maybe when I get in my house and have more warmers throughout and change wax more often or more regularly, then um, that might be why, that might be what I do uh, more often than once a month. So um, I'm starting with November's scent of the month, the Mary. Um, I warmed this. I warmed two of them. It was a pretty wet red wax on cold uh, it's a pretty medium to me it is a, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make this disclaimer this is my opinion my sniffer is different than everybody else's you might have a different opinion about this and that's great but that's what that's what we're all here for to kind of give an idea of what we think and then you can go from there um, it is a medium intensity to me uh, on cold yeah, I, high appeal. I, I really, really like this scent, um, especially when I first smelled it. Uh, I was, unfortunately, I was a little um, disappointed once I warmed it. It stayed that medium intensity for the first few hours, and then it significantly, to me, dropped. Um, I changed it... I changed it after about 10 hours, and now I leave my warmers on. I turn them for, on first thing in the morning, and I turn them off at night before I go to bed. Um, the warmer in my bedroom is on a timer, and it is on from 6 a.m. until uh, 11 p.m., I think is when I have that going off. Um, I like to wake up to the scent. It just is a nice, 
refreshing way to to wake up but um so I did go through more of this because I tried more cubes thinking maybe that would help and it just didn't it, when it was warmed to me it didn't have that same high uh, scent appeal um, on cold I love it I, I might I'm gonna hang on to it I've got one bar left I'm gonna hang on to it when I get in my house I'll try it again and see maybe a different room a smaller room a more closed-in room um, I, I don't know I'm gonna play around with it but anyway um, I've decided to do a total score I might change that um, but I'm going to do a total score and whether or not I think the scent is scent club worthy. Um, but as of right now, my total score on this is 5 out of 10. I didn't feel it was the performer I expected it to be. Um, and no, I would not add it to my scent club. I have one bar left. That's enough for me. I'm going to try it again and see. Um, but there are other scents that I like better that, that perform better in my opinion. And now all of these have been warmed in the same exact situation, so it's a it's a fairly you know conclusive idea for me. Um, Cincy describes this as joy abounds in pine boughs dotted with holly leaf and cassis, and it is definitely a Christmas scent. It is definitely a Christmas scent. Um, okay, moving on. My personal Christmas favorite is Christmas cactus and I let me do this one is that gonna zoom in Christmas cactus green wax well there's no there's no wax left but it is a really pretty green wax um on cold it's a medium intensity scent to peel I, at first I was actually a little unsure about it oh I love it uh at first I was a little unsure about it but once I took the plunge and put it in my warmer oh my word it went to high intensity scent appeal to me was off the charts I loved it it was I couldn't get enough of it um, it was long lasting it was a great scent throw meaning I put it in my living room and I could smell it all throughout the whole 700 square feet um, but I could smell it I could smell it everywhere I went this was the situation where I didn't have so have it in here and have something different in my bedroom because there was it would compete um, so it had a very good smell I had it in there for several days I probably changed it just because I was ready for something a little different um, I give this probably uh, I give this about a 9 out of 10 because <laughs> I love it so much I crave it it's clean it's fresh it's winter it's it's Christmas um, little story Christmas cactus I think I, I, I just have a little bit of a um, emotional tie to it uh, my grandmother I don't know how many Christmas cactuses that cacti that she had um, so it's kind of, of a you know your your memories are tied to scents and and I can't even tell you if this is what a cactus Christ, uh, Christmas cactus smells like but because it's called that and it has that fresh green scent I think of my grandmother um, and I miss her every day and now my mom has all of those Christmas cacti and so it's just it's an ongoing you know uh, emotional memory so it is Scentsy Club, Scentsy Club worthy I actually have it in my Scentsy Club because if it retires at the end of this catalog which it probably will because they tend to do that rotating spring and winter scents um, I want to make sure that I'm guaranteed to have it if it doesn't come back in the next fall and winter catalog. So, um, since he describes it as agave, nectar, and citrus trim Siberian fur for a new kind of winter wonderland. And it is phenomenal. So, high performer, really good. Um, kind of backing up <clears throat> to the fall. I might have warmed this one first and I just have things mixed up uh, this is another one of my absolute favorites painted leaves and it's gone so you can't tell but it's pretty gold wax I'm messy with my wax when I break it and cut it so that's why there's little pieces in there I'm, that's just <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> painted leaves um, medium intensity on cold scent appeal is very high as soon as I smelled it 
I knew I was going to like it. It is such a fresh, clean, bright scent. Um, uh, it, it's another one of those that I craved uh, after I, after it went away. I was like, I've got to have some more of that. On Warmed, um, it stayed at that medium intensity. And the appeal of it, it shot right on up again. Um, scent throw is amazing. I mean, the, another where I would have it all, all, in all my warmers instead of splitting because it, it would compete. Um, the scent appeal was amazing for me and it lasted forever. So I actually probably ended up changing this because I was just ready for something new. And that's, that's, that's good to me. I mean, that, that's good to me. If, it, if something is still going three to four days later and I only change it because I'm ready for something different, that I can't go wrong with that. Um, total score on this, I put an eight out of 10 on this and scent club worthy. Um, definitely if this goes on the retired list, I'm going to put this in my scent club because I, I don't want it to, I don't want to be without it if it doesn't come back next, um, next catalog. Since he describes it as blue spruce, red and maple and golden woods weave a lush tapestry of forested notes ripe for exploration. That's very flowery. <laughs> um, okay. These I warmed together. I mixed it. Uh, I mixed Johnny Appleseed with apple cinnamon sticks um i have pretty much decided that i do not like apple and cinnamon sticks it doesn't matter how much johnny apple seed i put with it it is way too cinnamony cinnamony for me and it's a hot cinnamon um it just doesn't appeal to me on just the johnny apple seed i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you i love this scent it's in my scent club it's in my Scentsy Club, so it is Scentsy Club worthy. Um, I've got a 9 out of 10 on this. It's got a, a, a medium intensity, high appeal, high scent appeal. It's a clean, crisp apple. You can't go wrong with it. It's great alone. It's great for mixing. Um, so, anyway, so it you can still add this to your Scentsy Club, I think. I think it's still available to be added. Okay, so apple cinnamon sticks. On cold, it is a high intensity. I mean, it is strong. Um, the appeal on cold is, is actually not that bad. Um, I kind of like it. I smell the apple. I smell the cinnamon. But when I warmed it, the intensity still, still, still very high. But that cinnamon just shot right up, shot out. And my appeal went down because it was just too hot of a cinnamon um it's very strong i actually changed it pretty soon after i put it in because it was just too strong for me um i don't have it in my scentsy club i gave it a five out of ten just because it's just just way too strong for the scent um i uh since he describes it as tradition with a twist a classic apple and cinnamon blend is infused with an elegant ribbon of I cannot read my writing. A uh, ribbon of spiced white pumpkin and earthy oak. Maybe it's the oak that bumps that cinnamon. Because cinnamon's already an earthy smell anyway. So anyway, moving on. Um, I'm trying not to fly too much. But we're already at 13 minutes. And I don't want this to be a 30 minute long <laughs> video. So this is December scent of the month. Christmas Cuddles. I actually um, have this on cold with a medium intensity and a high appeal. I think it smells amazing. So I use the whole. It's a, um, a bakery scent. You do smell a little bit of that rum, that vanilla. Uh, I call it rum. It's bourbon, bourbon vanilla. But it does have that that smell. You do smell the vanilla, the caramel. Um, you get the cinnamon and cloves, but it's not a hot cinnamon. It's not a bright cinnamon. It's 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 just kind of a back note. Um, so, since he describes it, indulgent caramel and bourbon vanilla are spiced with cinnamon and clove for the ultimate holiday hug. Um, I want to drink it. I don't want to hug it. <laughs> but anyway, when I warmed it, it stayed that medium intensity. It was still strong. And my appeal on it stayed on that high. Um, I really love it. Um, I will maybe add it to my scent club. I don't know. I still have two bars left. So when that six month is up, because the scent of the months are available for six months after they're introduced. 
So once that six months is up, I'll see how I feel about adding it to my scent club. I've got it a 7 out of 10, not because I don't like it, but just because it's, it's just, there are others that I like just as much or more. Um, but I, but I do like it and I will, I will warm the two that I have left, um, eventually next, next, next winter. I'm, I'm kind of over the heavy scents and ready to get on some lighters and you'll actually see that as I go down this line. Um, Cozy Kitchen is the Huga Collection, and it is back available for a limited time. So, if you liked anything in the Huga Collection, grab you some bars or put it in your scent club. Um, this is Cozy Kitchen. On cold, it's a medium to high intensity. I really love this. It's like just oatmeal. Um, cinnamon oatmeal. It's just perfect. The scent, ap scent appeal on cold is high. When I warmed it, the, the um, intensity stayed on that medium high. I could smell it really good throughout my whole um, camper. Uh, um, I really loved it. I walk in, I it smell like oatmeal cookies. Um, it was yummy. Um, it's, a, it's a great performer. Great appeal. It lasts a long time. I changed this one because I was ready to try something different. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10 and it is in my Scentsy Club. So, Cincy describes it as warm oats, cinnamon swirl, and brown sugar. So, make sure to grab this before uh, they go away again if that is something that you like. Also from the Huga Collection, Quiet Clementine. I went through the whole bar of this. Cozy Kitchen, I still have some of that left. Um, Quiet Clementine. Um, I was actually really surprised at how much I love this because I'm not an orangey scented person um it, it just I, I, don't, I don't i don't know it smells like cleaning products usually this does not um on cold it is a pretty high intensity but it's not a it's not a um crazy high it's not like whoa it's it but you it's just a really nice scent um so high intensity, the scent appeal on cold when I first sniffed it, it was a, it was a medium. I liked it. I, it was one of those that I wanted to warm it and just see if it changed. Uh, when I warmed it, the uh, intensity went from a high appeal to or high intensity to a high to very high intensity. It it it, it ramped up somehow, and my appeal on it it ramped up a lot. Um, I really fell in love with it. It's very clean. It's got a woodsy note. It's got that vanilla. Um, actually, Scentsy describes it as uh, sweet orange, vanilla, orchid, and sandalwood. It is um, a good performer. It lasts a really long time. Um, my total score on this I put was 8 out of 10. Uh, and it is Scentsy Club worthy. I actually have it in my Scentsy Club. Christmas Cottage. This one is awesome. Um, medium intensity, high appeal, on cold, on warm, it went to medium to high intensity, and the appeal went up to high and, 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 and on up. Um, oh, I love this scent. It is perfect alone, or you can mix it. You can mix it with, um, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but you might could put some Christmas cactus in there and get, get a, a little bit of a, uh, um, a more earthy tone with it but um since he describes this as a cozy inviting blend of valencia oranges which i definitely get raspberries i never really got cloves and spices <sighs> yeah I definitely i guess i get the raspberries but it's more of like it's just a winter berry i don't i don't i don't i can't separate it as raspberries but definitely the oranges definitely the spices um i gave it a 9 out of 10 because i love it it's a good performer um, it's a great performer. It is definitely Scentsy Club worthy. So if it goes on the retired list, um, at this catalog, I'm going to put it in there just in case they don't bring it back because I, I want to hang on to that. Another one that is in my Scentsy Club is Olaf. This scent is so awesome. Um, now I, I did, I did give a cube to my sister. So... I haven't warmed all of these, but, um, pretty close. Um, on cold, it's a medium intensity. Uh, I love the smell of it on cold. On warmed, it stays on that, that medium intensity. Oh, it's just, just fresh mint. Um, the peel stays high. I'm reading my notes. I'm sorry I keep looking down. Um, 
and I keep thinking that I have to look here but I really need to look here so I'm not trying to not look at y'all anyway uh since he describes it as he just wants to be loved but also have fun this surge of cool mint and adventurous snow-covered woods surrounding a heart of warm vanilla is the ultimate homage to his charm um you definitely get that woodsy scent uh, it's like a winter woods you know uh, we don't get a lot of snow here last winter we did surprisingly um but i i that snowy covered wood smell it is a distinct smell and and i get that with this um it's 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 a beautiful scent it is a strong performer uh it's good for all winter long it's not heavy so you can still have that lightness that you're craving after all the heavy christmas scents i gave it a 9 out of 10 and it is in my sensi club so it is definitely a favorite of mine um, this is retired. It is in the clearance section. Um, pumpkin marshmallow, medium intensity on cold and warm, and it smells really good on cold, and it smells really good on warm. It is not a very strong performer. I could not smell the pumpkin anymore, um, after about an hour or two, so that was very disappointing because I had high hopes for this. Um, after about six to eight hours, I, I, I changed it. I couldn't even smell it anymore. It's not Scentsy Club worthy because I can't can't put it in my Scentsy Club anymore. Um, and I wouldn't anyway just because of the performance of it. I think what's left of this bar will be plenty for me to, to try again later. Um, I gave it a six out of ten just because of the low performance. Uh, Scentsy describes it as sticky, sweet marshmallow spooned onto a fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust. Um, it's kind of like a sweet potato pie, you know, with the gooey marshmallow. It smells really good. Uh, it just doesn't have the performance that I would like out of it. Alright, this is January scent of the month. I made samples with it. Strawberry Champagne Truffle. This name's not coming out. It's a beautiful pink wax. Can't tell because I used the whole bar. Um, on, on cold, it is a very light scent. It's light. You can smell the vanilla. Um, you can smell the strawberries. Since he describes it as fresh strawberries, creamy vanilla, and a splash of champagne will make any celebration. Definitely strawberries. Definitely vanilla. I don't get a fizz, but I think that they're kind of thinking more of a, um, a twang to it. Um, you know, not a lemony smell, but just kind of cutting that sweet a little bit, and it did. But on warmed, it's a very light, very light um, scent. I could barely smell it. Um, barely smell it. It was not appealing to me. It's not my scent. Uh, it's too light of a, of a scent. I like my scents a little stronger. I like to be able to smell them as soon as I walk in. I don't want to have to go searching for it and go standing over a warmer and saying, what is that? Is it still, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to do that. So it. It was a low performer for me. Um, total score, I gave it a 4. I don't really like the strawberry scent. I don't really like the performance of it. I wouldn't put it in my Scentsy Club. So, um, let's move on. Wooly slippers. <clears throat> Wooly slippers. When I did the first initial sniffs of these, this was one I didn't like. Uh, it was okay. I was going to give it a shot and see what I thought, but it's so sweet. It is so sweet. It's a, it's a medium intensity. Um, when, when on cold and it stayed at medium, maybe even went down to a light, a low intensity when warmed, my appeal of it stayed the same. It was just too sweet. It didn't perform good. I could hardly smell it anymore after a few hours. Um, I, I, gave this one also a 4 out of 10 total it was like I said a poor performer and, and I just don't like I just don't like the scent I definitely smell the marshmallow and vanilla I've got 3 cubes left not going in my Scentsy Club because I just I, I didn't like it why would I put some I don't I personally don't like there are so many options for everybody that if you don't like one doesn't mean you're not going to like 100 more because you probably will um <laughs> Because the ones I like are a lot more than the ones I don't. 
So, moving on. This is my last, yeah, my last wax bar. Yay! And I only got a few of non-wax. Um, I have found the new dear to me, my scent shimmer. There it goes. It is a beautiful purple, beautiful lilac. Um, on cold, it is a medium intensity, strong appeal. I love this scent. Uh, on warm, it goes from medium to maybe even strong. It is a very strong performer. It, it really throws well. Um, I have this in my bedroom right now. I had it in the whole camper, but then I got real low on my cubes and I wanted to save it until I could get another bar. But um, <clears throat> So I took it out of all of my warmers and put it again in my bedroom. And I put Mystery Man in the living area so um you know that'll be in my january what have i warmed um because this one i put in in december i put it in uh, well right at the end i put it in new year's eve and i just took it out last night so um if that tells you anything it is a very strong performer and it was just just starting to get past the point like um it went from having that that beautiful um, that beautiful fruity smell uh, with just a little bit of the perfume to being almost purely perfumey, and and that was fine. But then it went to a powdery scent, uh, uh, you know. So I just once it got to that powdery part, I said, eh, it's time to change that. So very strong performer. Um, it it just made me happy that it's not musky at all it has musk in the description but it's not musky i actually give this one a 10 out of 10 um that's pretty rare i think to have a 10 out of 10 just because it's just it's such a beautiful scent scent describes it as sweet cherries velvety apricots and sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of simmering spun shimmering spun sugar it is sweet um but a fruity sweet with a little bit of perfume no musk I don't get the musk I, I don't I but that's good because I don't like the musk um so anyway that's my wax shimmer is my favorite out of all those but it really depends on the time of the year because during fall and winter shimmer I'm not gonna want it's a more it's a light scent it's a um, delicate scent it's not something that's just gonna you know be you could use it all year round, but it's not a, a winter scent. Um, all right, this in my camper, I have a, um, I call it a water closet. It's where my toilet is, and I hang um, scent circles off of the towel bar um, just to keep it fresh in there. Um, you know, of course I clean it, <laughs> but I like to keep it fresh. I got this off of the. Um, it still smells. Um, I got this off of the flash cell. For like a book so it is pineapple sorbet you're not gonna be able to read that because it'll, oh maybe, maybe pineapple sorbet I don't know oops, sorry I don't know the scent description because it's retired um, on cold it's a strong I really like the smell of it I like that pineapple I like the sweetness of it it's just a it is a true fresh pineapple smell love pineapple um, the length of scent you know these are said to last about a week I got two to three weeks out of this, um, and it still, like I said, it still smells, so I might stick it in a drawer somewhere, but um, it's a very nice scent. I give it an 8 out of 10. I wish that I could get another one of these because I really like that. Um, right now, and it's still hanging up, so I only have the package. Right now, I have lemon verbena hanging in there. Um, I, right now, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. It's still going strong. I'll put it up on 1222 and I can still smell it really well when I walk in there and that, that's been what two two and a half weeks now um so it's strong and I might actually get the room spray for this and just just refresh my scent circle um I like the lemon verbena it is just a fresh true lemon just a clean lemon uh car bar I had this in my work car my work truck um, I got this in the flash sale too. It is apple butter frosting. I love this scent. Um, I actually bought another wax bar because I want to, I want to warm it again. I know it's more of a fall scent. And see, I can still smell it on here too. It's just real light. Um, 
<clears throat> this one lasted well over a month and the car bars are said to um, you know normally last anywhere from three three weeks to a month maybe less depending some perform worse or less and some perform better this one was an amazing performer I'm really 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 sad that they have discontinued this scent in the car bar and I hope they bring it back please since he bring back apple butter frosting in the car bars uh, lasted forever 10 out of 10 for this as far as performance and smell because I love that smell um, since the description and heartwarming medley of cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream and it is a uh, bakery um, spiced apple uh, you, there's just no other way to describe it it's got that creamy creamy buttercream and um, and apples spiced apples it's just amazing okay last certainly not least Ooh. I went through two things of washer whisks uh, one of them was aloe water and cucumber and the other one was Amazon Rain. I don't have the descriptions for either one. I apologize. Um, they're both empty now. This one has a, I know this one has pineapple, um, pineapple in it. And uh, Amazon Rain, I, I really wish, wish I knew. I can't tell. Out of these two, Amazon Rain was my favorite. Um, better performer to me. Um, so that is basically what I have been using this month and I might have to do it more regularly because this one ended up being a little over 30 minutes and I hope everybody hung around with me I'm sorry for it dragging on and I tried not to um, you know chew the fat too much so anyway happy new year I hope everybody's doing great and had a wonderful holiday and um, I will see you I guess I'll have a haul soon I hope um, I ordered some bring back my bars so uh, I'll do a quick video on those because I only did a six pack of my top favorites and then I'll do another six pack at the other half of the month. Um, so yeah, have a, have a wonderful Friday and happy weekend and hope to see y'all again. Thanks.